Hi everyone, this is Aaron from HH Watch Reviews. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will take a look at a watch that was sent to me by the fine folks at Valleymore. A few months ago, I received an email from them asking me if I wanted to check out one of their latest watches. I was curious because I had never seen a Valleymore watch before and uh, this one had a pretty particular design to it that I was very curious to see in person. Now, after a few email exchanges, I accepted the offer and they sent me the watch. Now, I didn't have to pay for the watch and I get to keep it after this review, but obviously that won't affect my opinion of the watch and they'll see this review at the same time as it is uploaded to YouTube. If you're interested in checking out the watch, I will leave a link in the description down below. So the Valimore Kilgara. If you're like me and have no knowledge of the Arturian legend, then you probably don't know what Kilgara means or stands for. Apparently, and this is from the description on their website, the design of this watch draws inspiration from the Arturian legend of the great dragon, Kilgara. As soon as I read that, everything about this watch's design made sense. Like, if King Arthur had a watch, this would be the one. But before looking at the design, let's go over the dimensions and specifications of the watch. We have a diameter of 40 millimeters, a lug to lug of 47 millimeters, a thickness of 15 millimeters, a lug width of 22 millimeters, and the crown measures 7.6 millimeters. The movement inside is a Miyota 8315 automatic movement. It has 60 hours of power reserve, beats at 21,600 beats per hour, and it hacks and hand winds. The watch has a sapphire crystal, a ceramic bezel insert, and it's made out of 316L steel. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at the design of this watch. We often hear brands say that their design is inspired by this or that or water, nature. But oftentimes that inspiration is very limited and it's very hard to tell when looking at the watch. Here, Valimore really went all in on that King Arthur and the Great Dragon inspiration. Let's take a look at the hands first. The hour and minute hands are inspired by the shape of the sword in the stone that King Arthur is so known for. They mirror the sharp and precise contours of the blade. The finishing of the hands is very well done, with one half being polished and the other half brushed. This makes the hands very easy to read and it catches the light very beautifully and it's very nice to look at. The hands are skeletonized and a good portion of it has loom. The second hand is done in gold. The counterbalance is a fleur de lis and the arrow tip has loom. The length of all the hands is perfect and they reach the markers like they need to. Around the dial, we have Arabic numerals for the even hours and these angular water drop looking markers for the odd hours. The font used for the numerals is designed by their own team and is very medieval looking with sharp lines, straight edges, and distinct angles. The markers look applied, but they're actually pressed from underside. They are raised from the dial and this gives a nice three-dimensional look to them. There's a good amount of Swiss Super Luminova applied on each marker and the color of the loom on the hands and markers is white and the loom glows bright. I will show a loom shot later on in the video. Now you might have noticed it already. This watch has two chapter rings, or more like two layers to the chapter ring. The first layer has a dot marker for each hour and a track for the minutes in between. Everything is finished in gold. Then the second layer has a number for each five minutes and this very intricate design in between each marker. The type of design detail that you would find on a king's armor or maybe even a knight's armor. The dial of the watch has a pattern that looks like dragon scales. It is blue in the center and fades to a very dark shade of blue on the edges of the dial, like a fume dial. I don't know what it is, but something about how the pattern is done makes the hour markers and the text on the dial float, like if it wasn't directly printed on the dial. This will most likely not be visible on camera, but when I look at the numerals and move the watch, I almost feel like I can see under the marker. It has this 3D effect and it's pretty cool. The dial has very minimal text printed on it. We have the Valimore branding and their logo at 12 and the text automatic at 6. The text size used here is very good and there's a good balance to the dial. Covering the dial is a single dome sapphire crystal with clear AR coating. 
There's a good amount of distortion when looking at the dial at an angle, and the dial just disappears at a certain point. Visibility in direct sunlight is good, but I wish the crystal was flat and had more layers of AR coating. We have a 60-click unidirectional bezel. It is designed to look like Dragon's dorsal fins. There's a good amount of grip and it's very easy to rotate. Let's have a listen. The sound is pretty chunky, but the bezel is a bit lighter than what I like. There's also a good amount of backplay, but everything lines up, so that's good. The bezel insert is a blue ceramic insert and it is fully loomed. Let's check out the loom. The case is mostly brushed with a polished chamfer going from one lug to the other side. The case finishing is done very well. This case has some nice lines and the transitions are crisp. And there isn't a single sharp edge anywhere on this case. Everywhere you touch or any part of the watch that touches your wrist or your skin is very soft and smooth. The only area that I found that was a little bit sharp is the inner side of the lugs, but you don't feel it while wearing the watch. Let's look at the crown side of the watch. They show it off in their marketing video and it is supposed to look like the cross guard of a sword. Again, we have that medieval theme going on. There is even a gemstone on the crown, something that you would normally find on a king's sword hilt. The crown has a nice design too. The knurling is pretty substantial and it makes it easy to grip and turn. Unfortunately, it is not a screw down crown, so that means we only have 100 meters of water resistance. One thing to note, the crown has a different finishing than the rest of the case. It is like a sandblasted look. Not sure if this was a design choice, but personally, I don't like it. It is very noticeable when looking at the watch and it just stands out all the time. Now flipping the watch over, we have an open case back. We can see the Miyota 8315 movement here and Valimore put a custom gold rotor. You have the Valimore logo and two dragons etched on the rotor. There is really a lot of details there and it looks very nice. You can just sit there and look at that rotor, turn around and look at all the details of the dragons. It's very nice to see. And even around the case back opening, we have a beautiful dragon scale pattern and a little bit of text there. Now this watch comes on a bracelet. It is a five link style bracelet that starts at 22 millimeters at the lugs and only tapers to around 20 millimeters. The links are held with push pins it has a butterfly clasp and no micro adjustments. The entire bracelet is brushed. The finishing is done as well as the case. The uh, two inner links have the same dragon scale pattern from the dial and overall a very nice continuation of the design there. The end links are solid and have quick release spring bars. Overall, the bracelet is very well done, but it's exactly the type of bracelet I don't like. It doesn't taper enough. It has a butterfly style clasp and no micro adjustments. I wasn't able to get a proper fit with the bracelet, so I've been mostly wearing the watch on a suede leather strap. So, what do I think of this watch? Well, first, I think Valimore did an incredible job designing this watch. They put a lot of thought in the design and really went all in with the team. From the dragon scale pattern to the mythical double dragon imprint found on the Sword of Kings that is etched on the rotor, every little detail that's on the dial Everything is part of that same theme. And I didn't even mention the box. The packaging is beautifully designed also and the same overall theme of knight dragons and you know medieval stuff. Uh, everything looks very nice. When you open the box, you're greeted with this beautiful little booklet. Uh, there's this little story of a knight that goes and gets a sword from uh, a wizard or something. I'm not exactly sure what the story is, but the drawings are beautiful and it gives this beautiful experience of unboxing the watch. So overall, I think the packaging is very well done and once again matches the overall design and theme of this watch. The watch is also a very comfortable watch to wear. Even though it is a 15 millimeter thick watch, the watch feels great on the wrist. I don't know what it is, but the first time I held the watch, I thought it was made out of titanium or some other type of lightweight material. 
I think it has to do with how they distribute the weight of the watch so that none of the parts feel very heavy. Even though I've been wearing the watch on a leather strap, it never felt top heavy and it's very comfortable to wear. So if you're into medieval folklore or into King Arthur and dragons, then I think you should definitely check out this watch. Personally, is it a watch for me? Not really because it isn't my style of watch, but I know there's a lot of work put into the design of this watch and I really appreciate that. There are a lot of great watches out there that I personally don't like because it's not the type of watch I like wearing, but it doesn't mean they're bad watches and this is one of them. So that wraps up the review of this watch. If you want to check out the Valleymore Kilgara or any of their other watches, you'll find a link in the description down below. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with a friend or two. And if you want to see more watch content, please subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one.